20,000 views. And to celebrate my 20,000 views on YouTube, I want to make today or in the next few days three new hammer tutorials. Hammer tutorials on a button, a button and a door, and an incinerator that opens when you press a button. <laughs> okay, let's go with the first hammer tu tutorial on how to make the Aperture Science 5000 megawatt heavy duty super colliding super button. Okay, let's go. At first, make a new entity. Double click on it and make it a prop static. <coughs> Let's search for the world, world model. Okay, here we want to type in button. Okay, that's enough. And we want to use the button base reference. Good, there we go. Make a new entity. Double click on it. Make it a prop dynamic. <coughs> Good. And we want to search for the world model button top reference. <coughs> and give it a name like butt head. Okay, bring this butt head on top of our button base. Yes, that looks good. Next thing you want to do, click on the block tool, go to cylinder, make an, an eight sided brush with the texture, no draw. Good. And yes. Let's do it. Forty eight by forty eight. And only eight eight in the hive. Good. And now bring it directly under Yes directly under the button head okay um, here perfect good and now we want to tie it to an entity so only click on it and press control T want to make it a funk door give it a name like but door and now we want to set the parent from the butt head to butt door double click on it again go to flex touch opens unflag it we want to set the speed to like 25 and daily before reset to minus 1 and move direction go here down and yes that's all we have to do here and now let's make a new cylinder brush with the texture trigger to a trigger good make it as large as the button head so only no too large let's make it 80 by 80 what the hell okay and again I'm sorry
good. Press enter. Where is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's scale it down to only about five. Okay, and that's a lot too large. So scale it down. Seventy by seventy. Yes, that looks good. Whoa, five is too high. <laughs> Sorry. That looks much better. Now, bring it. No. Yes, something like that. Okay, now tie it to an entity. Make it a trigger. Multiply. And we want to name it. Let's see. I have to take a look on my little paper. <laughs> we want to name it Bud Player. And under Flex, only clients. Good. And now let's make a very small cylinder brush. We want to place here in the middle. Make it something like 60 by 60. Yeah, good. Now we tie it to an entity too. Make it a trigger multiply. And the name to but <coughs> fizz up. That stands for physics, physical objects. And under flex only physics objects. Good. Next step, we want to make two ambient generics. <coughs> so only make a new entity here. Type in ambient generic. Good. We want to name it but sound up. And the sound name portal button up. No, here must be a point. Good. And the source entity name there is but head. Good. And now copy this. Make a second ambient generic, paste it, and we want to name it but sound down and portal button down. Good. Only bring this up. Yeah. Next thing, a filter. So make it a filter activator name. Good. We want to name it filter fizz orb. Good. And there we have no filter name. And that's the reason why we want to make a cube. Make this a prop physics good and I want to use the laser cube
this is not a normal portal you have to download it and yes that's good give it a name like laser cube and now we can set our filter name to laser cube good and here at this little cylinder brush double click on it and the filter name to filter this up good all we have to do now is to set some outputs at first here at this large trigger so add a new output on and touch all but sound down but sound up, I am sorry. Play sound. Add the next one. On and touch all. But door. Too close. Add the next one. On start touch all. But sound down. Play sound. Add the next one. On start touch all. But door. Open. Yeah, open. Good. Now you can copy all this. So click on one, hold control, and select the next. Go to copy. Now go here, click here to the little and paste okay that looks very good only two little outputs and this is <coughs> <coughs> on and touch all but player to enable yes and the next one on start touch all but player disable okay and this is all we got it this is our cool new button and now let's take a look here I am here I am okay let's see if it works the little laser cube oh perfect and it works for me this is good ok thank you for watching my video I hope this helped you and you will see more portal videos in the next time I mean hammer editor videos so thank you for watching goodbye